We're out here cast net for shrimp. Actually ended up catching a little flounder in the cast net. How cool is that? As many times as I've fished this beach, I've never actually caught a flounder with a rod and reel. It's my first one in the cast net. So let's let him go. Catch some more shrimp. First cast netted me eight shrimp. I can do that five or six more times. I'll be a happy man. All right, guys. So here's the results of me uh, doing some cash netting. I don't know if you can see in that bucket very well. Got plenty of shrimp. Now, what it took for me to find these, uh, it took me about 25 minutes, but what it took for me to find these is they were schooled up where these rocks and boulders are in the water. So not two feet from the water's edge, right at the edge of the rocks is where these shrimp are schooling up. So I was able to find them, get my cast net on them, got us some fresh bait. Let's go catch some fish, y'all. Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so our goal today is to try to get on some sheep's head. I went down to the beach, caught some shrimp in the cast net, and uh, we're gonna go hit the train bridge, which is gonna be right over there. Uh, that's the goal today. See if we can get on some sheeps. If not, I got plenty of shrimp. Uh, and there are some docks that run down this side of the bay that I, uh, that I know holds some trout. So we're gonna give it a shot today, guys. It's a beautiful morning. There's not a cloud in the sky. Let's see if we can get on some fish. Oh, there we go. First one on, y'all. Oh, is that a croaker? Good night. Look at the size of that croaker. I was not expecting that. That is a massive croaker. <laughs> All right, fish number one on the boat. Big old croaker. Not what I'm after. All right, on to the next piling. Oh, oh, come on. What is it? That feels like a sheep. It is a sheep. Oh no, it's a is it? no, it's a drum. I'll take him. I will definitely take a drum. I will take a drum all day long. So that's the first fish that I've caught that's worth keeping. Barely hooked him. All right, Joe. That's a good eating sized drum there. That's gonna make for a good sandwich. Got my bag full of ice. I'm gonna drop him in there just like that. First fish on ice. Maybe this is a good sign. Maybe things are turning around for us. <laughs> ah, little tiny flounder. <laughs> ah, little guy. Trout of the day. Ooh, 
Hello, buddy. You're almost a keeper, too. You're gonna be a hair short. Right. Man, it has been a grind today, y'all. Caught a bunch of different kind of fish, but nothing really worth keeping except for that black drum earlier. I'm gonna measure him, but he's gonna be just a hair short. Yeah, he comes in at 14. But maybe that's a good sign, y'all. That was right out front of this dock. I've still got some live shrimp left. Let's see if we can salvage some of this day, because it's been brutal. I done stabbed myself with a hook. I had a catfish sting me. Not a whole lot of fish in the boat. It's been a grind, y'all. Got another one. All right, y'all, I found some trout. Let's see if I can pull some keepers out of here. Man, that's another one that's gonna be just short. Second one, y'all. In just a couple of minutes in there. He's right at that 13, 14 inch mark too. It's gonna be a hair short. Man, healthy fish are nice and fat. Awesome, y'all. We can turn this day around. Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's Sunday morning. Uh, as y'all saw from yesterday, trying to catch sheep's head was an absolute bust yesterday caught a few fish um ended up taking up taking home that black drum yesterday and cleaning them up i got a couple hours this morning let's get on some fish that's how the water looking this morning it's nice and calm it's got a north wind so the waves are laid down now when i was out here yesterday catching shrimp that water is actually really clear y'all so let's hope we can get on a bite i'm gonna start off with top water see if i can get something going Go try these docks and uh, we'll go from there. Y'all stay tuned. First cast where I saw trout blowing up. Right in front of this dock. First cast. This is a nice trout if this is a trout. I'm sure it is. No, it's not. It's a hardhead. Man, I, I was sure they were trout the way they were blowing up on top. It's a big old aggressive hardhead though. Well, got the hard head out of the way for this morning. There. Well, not the target species, but fish on the first cast, I'll take that. Oh, there he is again. Ooh, if that's a hard head, that's a big old hard head. Man, second cast, y'all. That ain't a hard. Please don't be a hard head. I don't know, he's kind of fight, fighting like a red or a seal cat. Oh, red, all right. Second cast, redfish. Pretty one too. Guys, man, what a change from yesterday. Yesterday was brutal. I couldn't buy a fish on live shrimp. Last minute decision to come out here this morning before church. Hoping for some better luck. spots on this side four on that one man what a pretty red he's probably right at legal but, uh, we 
gonna let him go. Thanks, buddy. You can almost always bet on a big red. Oh, that's a big one too, y'all. Ooh, that's a big red. Always bet on these big reds sitting at the end of these docks first thing in the morning. That's a good one. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Out of the dock. Out of the dock. He blew up on that thing the first time and missed it. And I paused it. And then gave it a couple more jerks and he came right back at it. That's an upper slot. That's a good one. Man, they sure love this top water. Pretty red this morning. We're 15 minutes into our trip. There's one thing I show a lot on this channel. It's a good red bite first thing in the morning on the end of some docks, man. They just love sitting at the end of them, just waiting on bait fish to pass by. He's probably coming in right at 25, 26 inches. Beautiful fish. We're gonna let him go. Thanks, buddy. Oh. Keep on it. All right, y'all, that's gonna do it for this trip. Just a quick little trip out here this morning. Got on a couple reds. I even ended up catching one red I wasn't able to get on film, but it's amazing what a different place, different techniques, different day makes a whole difference. I fished for probably six hours yesterday. A couple fish, nothing major. And then uh, showed up at my honey hole this morning, pulled those reds in within an hour, so. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all take a second and uh, hit that like and subscribe button. I'd surely appreciate it. We'll catch y'all on the next one.